Okay, um, this is the rest of the stuff that I got on Sunday. Uh, this pile here, and that little stack there. Ignore that stuff. Um, I'm, I'm going to be a little uh, dramatic. <laughs> I paid 45 for this this lot of games here, and this is one of those things where I have to take a lot of uh, the bad uh, with a little of the good. Um, but I'll go through it. Uh, overall, this isn't bad for $45. Um, straight off, I got a PS2. Um, it has a memory card, and it has three controllers, and it's complete. Should be working uh, because I know the person I bought it from, so I shouldn't have a problem there. Um, and I had that. So this here to me represents about thirty-five dollars. You know, because I normally I sell a thirty-five. I, I sell a machine for thirty-five, and I have to throw in some games and a controller and the cables. And lately, I've been throwing in a memory card, so I don't get rich off of that. So that's most of my money back. Um, then I got a bunch of nonsense that that I really won't be able to sell. Again, I keep talking about maybe doing a PS2 lot on eBay and. Uh, but I'll have to do a few sports games at a time. But let me just go through everything I got. And you'll see, I, I'm, I'm being dramatic. I'm saving the best stuff for the bottom, uh, which is where I'll actually make money. Uh, this stuff, most of the stuff on top is very difficult to sell. And I sit and I sit on it and I sell one here, I sell one there. And, you know, sometimes you just have to be frugal with your money. Even the PS2s. I may not sell this PS, PS2 for like, I don't know, a month or two. But uh, anyway, uh, MLB 2004 Baseball. <laughs> NCAA 06 football, uh, NBA shootout 2004, MVP 06 baseball, uh, Madden 07, Madden 2004, NBA Live, NCAA football 2004. Uh, he, he seemed to take care of his stuff. The cases are pretty good. Probably to discharge too. Um, NCAA 2000 football five, 2005, uh, Game Breaker. He likes a lot of sports, which is weird. Uh, Adam 06 because I know the person. He doesn't seem like a, a sports person. NCAA 007. Double A, double O seven, NC double A O seven football, NBA Live two thousand and three, NBA Live O six, MLB two thousand and five, uh, two thousand and five. Then I got some regular PS two games. This one requires an eye toy, so I'm gonna put that to the side because I'm gonna give uh, my friend an eye toy and some other stuff. Um, but I got Harry Potter Quidditch. Uh, difficult games to sell, you know, very difficult. Medal of Honor. I'm waiting for PS2 to jump in value. Everybody, if you notice my last uh, bunch of videos, everybody's dumping their PS2s on me right now. Um, so if they dump them cheap, all right, whatever. And I can afford to buy them. Uh, Lord of the Rings, Two Towers. I've had this game, very difficult to sell. Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. And uh, then I got a small stack of GameCube games. Um, this is, is why I even, well, nah, 40, I wouldn't have paid 45 for this. I would have been like, no, I don't want this stuff. Um, because it's too hard to sell. But I got an All-Star Baseball 2002, a Madden 2002, an All-Star Star Baseball 2003, and then I got a couple of good GameCube games. I got a Simpsons Road Rage. Do not believe this is very valuable, unless it's jumped in the past uh, few months ago, but it's probably at least a $10 game. Animal Crossing, this is probably something I'll just put on Amazon. Let me see if it has a memory card. <sighs> nope, okay. But the disc is in there. And then I got a Pikmin. Um, this is probably the best out of everything in uh, the group of things and it's probably like it's just is very easy to sell this should be uh, an easy 30 35 I don't know I haven't had it in a while but um, this is why I bought it this one game this I will get a good portion of my money back on and this stuff I'll get my money back eventually um, the second pile is um, more of a trade and then a little cash was thrown in my direction for it um, the person I traded with wanted a, I remember he wanted a Dreamcast and a Pokemon Gold um, what he traded and this is probably the only thing that has any re real value. I don't know I, if it, I think I checked on Amazon because I want to know the price. I believe it's between 10 and 15. I suppose con depending on condition. Then I got uh, this Jet Force Gemini. I don't believe this has much value, and it's not in great condition. A God of War, a great game. Um, it does and that's weird. It's in backwards. Oh, it must be t uh, a two-disc game. So I just did that. All right. Um, eh, okay condition, uh, case is beat up, whatever. Um, but this is, to me, it's like a three dollar game. Um, nothing really, and uh, not easy to sell. And uh, then I got Boomer's Adventure, um, that game does not have value, and Castlevania Adventure is probably like a three or four dollar game. Um, which is surprising because all the other Castlevanias are worth a lot. And I'm almost positive this has very little to no value in terms of five or less and not, and not an easy sell. But anyway, um, what I felt was I was trading uh, a good, two really good things that I could easily sell for like stuff that 
whatever I'll sell eventually and you know you go well, what about the DS but check this out um, can you see that it's really broken um, it's on probably its last legs uh, it's beat up to boot um, if it works and he actually didn't have the charger so I think he said he thinks it works I don't um, if I sell this eventually I'd get between five and ten values I'll probably just use it until I break it um, really break it or I'll give it to my friend or I don't know you know I, this has to me no real value I would never buy this um, if I were out there and somebody said oh, $5, I'd be like, no, nah. they gave me, if they said $2, I'd be like, eh, I don't think so, you know, maybe I'd pay $2. But that's it. So anyway, that's it. That's the rest of the stuff I got yesterday. I actually bought a lot of games this weekend, uh, mostly nothing super great and a lot of PS2.